guys, it's Elaine, and welcome to DC Hotspots on the Hotspots Network. We're here on the National Mall getting ready to kick off some 4th of July festivities, but we want to share with you all of the events we were at in June, including the AT&T Washingtonian Best of DC, the Rammies, the Emmys, and the grand opening for the Hyatt Place National Mall rooftop. To get it kicked off, we were at the AT&T Washingtonian Best of DC. Let's listen to hear what Jake from Bibiana had to say about celebrating the best of the best in DC. Hanging out with a bunch of my fellow DC chefs, pretty much getting together for the Washingtonian Top 100, hanging out, eating each other's food, giving our food to a bunch of guests around here, as you can see. One best thing about tonight is we're all pulling together to benefit the society for the eradication of leukemia having a great time and at the same time putting each other towards a great cause of that eradication of that horrible disease. The Ramy Awards Gala celebrates one of DC's greatest assets, its restaurants. This year at the National Convention Center, the Ramy Awards consisted of over 21 special categories and DC Hotspots was on location. Our coverage includes some interviews with some of DC's major players in the restaurant scene, including a chat with Bob Kincaid and he shares with us the top five restaurants in DC. Well, the Rammies are important just because we want to actually publicly acknowledge what we all know inside, that the restaurant scene here in this town is just as good as any place you'll ever go in the world. This is only the most important capital in the world. We have to have the most important food scene in the world, and we're building that right here. And it's so important for us to come together and recognize that and help build the process from the ground up. Some of my favorites, and that may not be the ones that are most trendy, because um, I'm a big believer in uh, take advantage of the people that have been here a while and doing really good things. I would say Vidalia, uh, Marcel's. Uh, I would say I love the prime rib. It's kind of old school, but it's, they do what they do right. Some other restaurants are, are Riff's Lacoste and uh, Black Salt. We're actually working with the Korean Embassy this year and so excited to work with Remy. This is our first time featuring Korean food and as everybody knows, Korean food is the hottest thing right now. And we're just so excited to be able to introduce uh, some of our dishes at the Remy. I started rolling meatballs when I was about five years old. Um, I'm a, I come from an Italian family and uh, you know, I was a wild man running around. So, I, I mean, I love cooking and, and that's how I started. I mean, I've been cooking since I've been five years old. As I got older and continued to cook, uh, I, I found that about culinary school. And I started cooking in, in culinary school and that's kind of ended me up where I am now. It's just nonstop. It's kind of cook, cook, cook. You know, I, I've worked for a lot of great chefs throughout my career and I worked with Steven Starr in Philadelphia. I opened up a bunch of restaurants with him. And a guy who, when I started working with him, he had six restaurants. When I left here at 13, now he's got 50. Uh, that was definitely an, an icon to me, and I wanted to learn how to be like that and, and open up a lot of restaurants and be a restaurateur, and that's what I'm doing right now. So it's kind of special. To win DC Restaurant Tour of the Year is uh, definitely special, uh, honoring. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, it all goes back to my entire team. I couldn't do it without my team because one person can't open up 10 restaurants, only a, a team of great chefs and great managers and everyone else can open it up, a great thing. And, and it's about the team and I have a great team. If you want to learn how to be a great restaurateur, come work for me. <laughs> the National Chesapeake Capital Region Emmy Awards honors excellence in TV production in various sectors of the TV industry. DC Hotspots was there and we spoke with Chris Leary from WUSA Great Day Washington to hear about this extraordinary experience at the Emmys. Well, I'm really excited to be a part of the 58th annual Emmy Awards in this region. Uh, D.C., Baltimore, and the entire region just filled with an amazing amount of talent. And to be thrown into this is, is really a, a pleasure. I started in this area just a few months ago. And just to be in that room with, with all that talent, and th there's a lot of talent in the room in the Emmy Awards. But there's also a lot of talent who didn't make it tonight. They're amazing too. All you have to do is just watch a bit of each you know, TV station to know how lucky you are to be a part of all of this. And that's what I feel, appreciation. This was a wonderful event. This was an entertaining, it, it's long, but it's really not boring, an entertaining event. And I'm really proud to be a part of this. And I uh, hope you enjoyed whatever you saw of it too. 
DC Hotspots was on location at City Bar for the grand opening of their rooftop at the Hyatt Place National Mall. This unique rooftop experience offers incredible cocktails and an uninstructed view of the entire city. Happy hour, date night, girls night out, you'll want to have it at City Bar. Our photographers with DC Hotspots are out and about all month long, and each month we want to feature those hottest photos, so take a look. Thanks for watching DC Hotspots. I'm Elaine, and make sure you keep checking in with us because we are always covering the hottest spots.